Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can write a Python program to reverse a number by considering it as a string value. In this program, first we will ask the user to enter a number. Then we will consider the user input as a string value. Then we will reverse that string value and we will display the number. So here we can use the input function to take the input from the user and I'm going to say enter the number. Now by seeing this message, the user is going to enter a number, but this input function will return whatever the user is going to enter as a string value. So here, if the user is going to enter the number one, two, three, then that one, two, three will be returned by this input function as a string value. So it will be string one, two, three. It will not be number one, two, three here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, return value of this input function and I'm going to store that in a variable and I'm going to call it as number string because here we have the number in string form. Now, since we have this number available as a string value, what we can do is we can apply all those methods that we apply on the strings. We can get the substrings or we can reverse the string. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this string. So I'm going to take this uh, variable which is containing the string value and I'm going to use the slicing method. And here I'm not going to specify the start and end value, which means I want to consider the entire string full string value. And then I'm going to specify the step as minus one. So it means that take the entire string and reverse it. And now that reverse string will be returned. And what we do is we will store that in another variable. Now I'm going to call this variable as number string reversed. Okay. Now here, what we have done is we have reversed the number entered by the user. So if it is about printing that back on the screen, then we can uh, use the print function and we can uh, print this string. So I'm going to use this variable number string reversed. If I save this program and if I run this code and if I enter one, two, three, four, five, then we can get five, four, three, two, one. So here you guys can see that the number actually reversed, but this is for, you know, just displaying that back on the screen. What if you want to use this number, you know, in some calculation, you want to use the reverse number in some calculation. So what we can do is uh, we can use a function called as int and we can convert the number, which is in the string form to integer form. So here I'm going to use the int function and we need to provide the number which is in string form. So here we want to convert the number which is reversed, which is in string form to integer form. So I'm going to call that variable in here, number string reversed. And then we're going to store the return value of this int function in another variable. For example, I'm going to say number reversed. Now here in this number reversed variable, we have the reversal of the number that is entered by the user and we can use it for some calculation. For example, um, we can uh, add some uh, value for this variable um, number reversed. And let us say we're going to add 10 and we will store that back in this same variable. OK, whatever the reverse number is, we will add 10 to that and then we can uh, print that number. So here I'm going to call the number reversed. OK, now I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run this code. And this time I'm going to enter 100. Now you guys can see we get 11 here. Now here I have entered 100 as the input. So when we reverse that, it will become 001, which is equal to one. And then in our program, we are adding 10 to this uh, reversed number. So it will become 11 and that is been displayed here. Now in this program, it is about taking the user input and reversing that. Then we don't have to you know, write all this code. We can uh, do it in one line. So what we can do is um, we can work on the string value returned by this input function. So here we can directly apply the slicing. So here we will not specify the start and end value and we will specify the step as minus one. And after that, you know, if it is about printing, then we can directly call the print function and we can uh, print the number. So now if I save this program and if I run this code 
and if I enter one two three four five, we will get five four three two one. So this is it, guys, for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.